What's going on, everybody? It's your favorite dating coach, Elliot Scott. And as you can see by the title below, we're going to talk about how a man processes his feelings when he likes you and it's going towards something a little more serious. Now, if you want to just avoid a man processing his feelings and he really likes you and wants to commit to you long term because he sees you as a high value woman and you know how to maximize attraction, link is down below to my 275 page ebook. Uh, that's going to show you how to maximize attraction. Attraction is everything. If you don't have enough attraction, your friends have benefits. If you don't have enough attraction, a guy pulls away. He doesn't reach out. He doesn't initiate. He doesn't invest his resources. That's all based on attraction. So if you want to get a guy to do all that and see you long term, link is down in the description. So this is coming from a comment I just commented on. And she basically said, this is from my last video or a couple of videos ago. She basically said, I heard that if a guy starts to like you, he pulls away to process his feelings. Something along the lines of that. Pulling away and processing. Okay? And I told her, no, that's not how it works. Where, did, where in the hell did you hear that from? So I wanted to make a video on kind of how it works with men. Emotionally available men who want a relationship will not pull away to process their feelings. There is no reason to. It is counterintuitive, right? If I'm invest, okay, think of it like this. As a species, think of it always as a species. Think of it always as advantages. What is the advantage of me pulling away when I have you right there? I want that relationship. We both want the same thing. <clears throat> It's right there. It's moving towards it. What's the point of me pulling away? I could process that shit when I'm sitting on the toilet. No pun intended. I could process that stuff when you're working or I'm working or I'm at home or I'm in bed or I'm on my own, my alone time. Like I could process that. And it's not hard to process because I know what I want as an emotionally available man, right? He will want, um, if he likes you and he wants a relationship and it's going towards that and he wants a relationship with you, there's just no reason to pull away. Again, it's counterintuitive. Men are risk avoided. It would actually be risky for him to, when things are going well, okay, things are going well between you two. Oh, my hair there. And, um, and, and everything's going, you know, again, going well for maybe weeks or months. And then all of a sudden he starts to pull away. That's going to leave you uncertain. And that's going to cause a lot of bullshit because the masculine energy is a provider a satisfier, a protector. He leaves a woman certain. He gives her validation. He makes her feel wanted and beautiful. When he pulls away, he is risking all that. He is risking all that. It's not a good thing, okay? So when guys do pull away, it is due to a lack of attraction to an extent, but I would argue that it's mostly emotional unavailability. And that doesn't mean a guy can't like you. That doesn't mean a guy can't have a relationship. It's a lot harder to have that with those type of guys, but it means like there's a roadblock in the guy's head. There's something that's preventing it from just have things, the way he thinks, the way he processes things, the way he acts, reacts, or just goes about. Um, it, it just doesn't happen as naturally or the way it should be. Um, so when men do pull away, it's context. It doesn't mean I don't like you. It means I'm unsure about a relationship. A relationship is a lifestyle. So yes, when a guy does pull away, I would actually, you know, to process his feelings, I would actually say it's not a good sign. I know this kind of sounds like, well, yeah, then a guy is pulling away to process his feelings. I wouldn't say it's so much feelings because it's obvious a guy might like you. And, you know, he might think, I do like the girl. It's him processed. Again, he's emotionally unavailable. There's something in his mind that just isn't working correctly. That doesn't mean he's messed up. Just because a guy doesn't want a relationship doesn't mean he's emotionally unavailable. I'm saying when a guy does like a girl and he keeps on getting in his own way for whatever reason, um, that's the problem. And usually guys will pull away when the context starts to layer. So for you guys who don't know what context is, it's the things you guys do and say over a period of time, usually the period of time you guys are talking, that creates this atmosphere of seriousness, of this vibe that feels more like a relationship. So the more you're talking, texting, the consistency, the hanging out, the hooking up, the uh, meeting friends or family, the future talking, the like all that kind of stuff. When a guy's unsure about a relationship or you guys didn't talk about what this is going to be in the beginning, you know, so there's uncertainty. 
um, and then you start doing all that stuff, it starts to paint this picture of a little more ser of a serious vibe. And if he's unsure about you, um, he's going to think, well, not unsure about you, but of a relationship because he can like you. But if he's unsure about a relationship, he's going to think, well, if I keep on going along with this, it's telling her I'm on the same page when I'm not. So I'm pulling away. And you can see going back to the risk assessment thing I said, like men are risk avoidant. This is actually the opposite end. He's avoiding the risk of a relationship. I hate to say it like that, but some guys just don't see a relationship, um, especially when they're not ready for one or they don't feel like you're the right girl or they have the you know FOMO, fear of missing out or whatever it is. Um, you know, they see jumping into a relationship as a liability. That's why I say he's not really processing his feelings. He's just kind of looking for more of a, um, not not an out, but you, like you, you try to justify what's going on, not his feelings, but like, do I actually want a relationship? And if he's, and if again, if he has to pull back and process it, it's probably the answer is probably no, because a guy who truly wants a relationship, I always say this: if a guy who truly likes you, or if a guy truly likes you, he won't put himself in a position to lose you. You know, so if he wants a relationship with you. He's risk avoidant. There's no benefit for him to pull back and, you know, by pull back for, I mean, like days where it's like very obvious something has changed um, because that's going to leave uncertainty in your mind. And if you're a high value woman, you might walk away from that. High value men know that because high value women, women who he can actually attract and keep um, don't put up with it. So communication is key. He will communicate it. If he likes you, he's emotionally unavailable and he wants a relationship he will follow through. There's no reason for him to pull away. He's not going to play fucking games. Everyone's like, well, what if he's playing games? It's not beneficial to play games with a high-value woman if you're a high-value man and you guys are on the same page looking for the same thing. That is not a thing. It's reciprocal investment with a, a good amount of pacing. Like The pace is normal. It's not too fast. It's not too slow. Um, and things like that. But I think a high value man would probably communicate this kind of stuff with you instead of pulling away and stuff like that. Because again, when he's pulling away, it's because of avoidance. I'm not saying avoidant personality types, you know, none of those attachment types. I just mean avoid, like he's avoiding something. It's risk. He's avoiding risk, whatever that is in his head. Okay, ladies. So that being said, if a guy truly likes you, he won't put himself in a position to lose you, especially if he wants a relationship. He's going to continue it. If he's uncertain and you are making these excuses, like he's pulling away because he's trying to process things. No, 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 no. He likes you. He just doesn't want to pay the cost of the of, of the benefits. He doesn't want to pay the cost of the relationship. If he could keep it, think of it like this. If he could keep it the way it is right now where you're just like, hey, I just want to get banged and I don't want a relationship. I don't want any strings attached. Um, it's just... You and I having fun. Don't worry about me ever wanting a relationship. Why would he pull away? It's a win-win for him. Think of it like that, okay? Um, so that being said, ladies, I love you all. Take care and peace.